Ryan Wills, the head volleyball coach, joins us here on Kane Vision as we get ready for the new season. And coach, how has fall camp gone so far for the young ladies? Yeah, camp's gone really well. We've uh, been in about eight or nine days and just been really competing. We got a lot of new kids in the gym, so it's nice to watch them get after it and kind of figure out, okay, who can do what, what their strengths are, and just compete to this point in time. And we haven't really started working lineups yet, and we'll start to do that in the next week. But it's been fun to kind of see, see how this whole team fits together. Absolutely. And of course, this is your second year as a head coach. You've been here as an assistant. Mm -hmm. How is it different for you now that you've been through it one year? Well, I'm sleeping a little better, so that's mm -hmm. good. Uh, I think the main thing is just kind of now that we've been through competition, now I can know what to expect from most of the players. And so that year one's tough because it's one thing to train. It's one thing to be in the gym and practice, but not until you get into those moments where competition really comes into play and how we deal with those. Do you really know what you're dealing with? And this year there's a good core of kids back. So I know, okay, when it gets to 23 all, I know how they're gonna respond. So that makes it just a little bit easier to kind of train and, and uh, focus on what to do in practice because you know how they're gonna respond. Well, you won 22 games last year. You mm -hmm. won 14 a year last 16. The bad part was there wasn't a postseason tournament yeah. in the AAC or you guys might've done some damage there. Any momentum coming from that? Yeah, and something we talked about. You know, we finished the conference play really well and we have to, we have to build on that. You know, I think, yeah, we won 14 out of 16 matches, but at the same time, I think we all know that uh, we, we could have finished a little better. You know, we had a big match that we didn't play well in. So it's nice because we have that momentum, but at the same time, we realize there's a lot of things we can do to get better. I know it's a team sport, but Erica Bohannon did get uh, all conference in mm -hmm. the preseason. Does that mean yeah. something? Does that mean something to her and to the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to have all, um, all conference players on your team. It just shows that. Uh, there's people that can really perform at a high level, and uh, you know she earned that. She, I think, she's the leading kill getter in the in the uh, conference coming back, and so you know she she transferred from you know the right side to left side last year, and I don't think she really started to figure it out till maybe uh, maybe the f maybe four or six matches left in the year, and it was fun to watch at the end because she started to really figure out how to play that position. So I'm excited to see as this season goes, it gets her more time in competition on that left side. It'll be it'll be fun to watch her growth. And the first home match is going to be on uh, September 11th, as that's part of the Hurricane Classic. That's the first one at home at the Rental Center. But before then, mm -hmm. you've got some tournament play going on, including a very difficult one to start the whole season uh, at Nebraska. And mm -hmm. I think you have to play the Corn Huskers and Pitt and some other, may, maybe some other tough teams, right? Yeah, it's going to be a heck of a tournament. You know, we, we start off in Nebraska at their place to start off the season, and they're a great program. You know, they're, uh, the, the Final Four this year is in Omaha, and there's a lot of talk about them. Uh, being able to get back there because they have the talent to do that, and they're always one of the best programs in the country. So from day one, it's going to be a lot of competition, and it's going to be good for us to go up there and compete with them in that environment and uh, get after it. And then the next morning, we have Pitt, who uh, they did really well in the uh, ACC last year, and so it's going to be good competition. And we finished that, uh, that weekend off with Grand Canyon, and they, I think they won over 20 matches last year, and so they know how to play volleyball. So it'll be a, a really tough tournament couple of home tournaments as well. What does tournament play do for you? How does, how does tournament play help you get ready for kind of the regular season, so to speak? Sure. I think it, it kind of depends on who you're playing, you know, with, with playing teams that we are, like Nebraska and Alabama. They're going to challenge us, uh, and we're going to see things that we haven't seen before. And so that's obviously going to prepare you because you know how to deal with it a little bit more. I think tournament play and conference play are, are a little different because it's three matches within 48 hours. You know, so it's just the grind, the ability to move on to the next play and those sort of things and the next match instantly is really important. So it prepares you because you get to know, know one another, you get to compete with one another before you get into the conference play where you, know, you got 20 matches to compete for a championship. All right, Coach. Well, I know that you are working awfully hard. Good luck, and we'll look forward to seeing the results from the tournaments. And then, of course, 9-11. Looking forward to the, uh, the first action here at home. Thanks. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. And that is the head coach of TU Volleyball, Ryan Wills.